Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Never Winter Nights. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it's just to join me today as we pillage and loot the wall city of Lost Can. That's right, that's that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. That's that's that it is. So let's go into this town. Oh no, this town, this house. And excuse the hiccup. See what we have inside. Oh, this looks special. The house didn't look like this from the outside. I cannot rest, there's enemies nearby. There's an, a, a locked door over here, which probably means this is a brothel. Because, you know, that's that's what we've been finding. Uh, hey. Hey, guys. Do you need to help with the terrible creatures that are around your house? Ah, don't kill me! I don't want to die! Yeah, I'm an adventure looking for information. I don't mean any harm. Okay, so it's like the other one. Oh, interesting. Hey, sir. Huh? No, he... <laughs> He's not interested in, in things. Have they opened the gates or the ports? He asks. We so want to leave. Yeah. Oh, a book about Waterdeep. And uh, don't mind me as I steal your stuff. It's definitely... The, sure. It's it's okay. It's the th city of thieves after all. So, you know. You know how it is. You know, in Rome, be a Roman. How's that? How's that? How does that one go? I don't know how that one goes. I know there's, there's a, a saying in Portuguese that is like that. And as usual... A lot of those sayings are sort of pan-cultural. Is that the word? I suppose it might be. Uh, so, it, it, there probably exists something like Better that. Better than you have fallen before. Die at yeah. that, I don't... <laughs> what? Well, what was he saying? Die at my hand. Uh, no. <laughs> Did you see that sideways attack? <laughs> that was kind of funny. I like that. Oh, look at that. We have a, a purse over there. Not a book from Bioware, though. It's not a purse. It's a sort of a... An ewer, or or maybe a, it could be it could be sort of a sort of a, 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 a mug, a strong negative trap kit. I don't want that. You can keep it. Uh, what else we have? We have a corpse. Okay, we have a book over there as well with some silver necklace that goes in there. Cannot go in there because I'm out of space. Let's put it over there. Uh, speaking of which, let's put that over there. I think we're good. Maybe we have another silver necklace. Oh, this is bad. This is bad because I don't have enough room for all this crap. Uh, and that one, I do have room. And indeed, it is stacking. So lovely. Okay, so the people in here got killed by these bandits. So, you know, it's may maybe it's not as bad. The fact that I'm pillaging and looting. and Well, actually, I'm not technically pillaging because that requires setting fire to, uh, as far as I can tell anyway, uh, setting fire to the things that you can't loot. Or they can, they can take with you, so... Yeah, I think we're doing... It's, it's all within the confines of the law. Let me just step to the side. Let's see if this guy gets a side with attack. Right after he says something stupid. Like what he said right then. Oh, there's another guy over here. Well, my character doesn't say better things, mind you. Okay. That works. Oh, there's another one? No. He kind of ran a little bit too fast. There we have a corpse with a little bit of money and we have remains. These guys leave remains? Oh, yeah, they do. That's a green stone over there. It goes in there. doesn't stack with anything. Sure. What do we have? We have another corpse. Yeah, these guys basically just came in here and killed everybody. And then stood in the same rooms. I, see, I mean, I'm kind of jumping to conclusions here because these guys might have been dead before they came in here. It is a little bit confusing that they would stay in the same rooms. Uh, as the their victims for so long, I say so long because we've been we've been here for a little while. I also I cannot <clears throat> excuse me. I cannot. Uh, did you see? Did you see what was what was happening when I was trying to open uh, these things? Got some sapphires over there. Um, I cannot track down why that happens. Like that one right there. I may, I said before that it's because. Let's put that over there. Uh, that is because uh, I dragon hold, but I'm I'm. It only happens in this game. I'm really very. I mean, this is the. I'm really very good at not dragon holding. I'm. I mean, there might be people that are better, but it's it's something that I've worried about since I was a kid. Because you know how it is when you're learning. Well, maybe you don't know how it is yeah. because you might be younger than I am, or you might have never actually yeah. learned to compute yeah. or use a mouse. Oh, the oath with Windows 98 oh, or 95 <laughs> because the problem is if you right click and drag it does a different in a, in a Windows environment anyway uh, it does a different action and for a 10 year old 
it's very confusing when that happens. So that was one of the first things that I kind of probably actually shaped my my whole learning of computing because uh, I one of the things that I've always been really really uh, attentive for uh, is this gonna go badly for me? I think it is. Um, no, not this thing. Recover trap if you can. Also, uh, save save the game there. Didn't mean to do that, but sure. Um, so, yeah, it's just something that kind of shaped the way I learned computing, which is, if I don't understand what happens, uh, if I don't understand, even if, he, even if it's only a little bit, then there's something there that I can learn and probably can use later on, uh, somewhere else to, uh, to kind of better my, uh, my usage of a computer. Uh, but, yeah, so it's basically something that I've, it's kind of stood with me, that, that will drag, and I don't think, I mean, I can put that to the test again, like... I know, it's, and, and, and my mouse is pretty decent, so, I mean, it's pretty awesome, actually. Um, but, uh, I don't know. It's something, I think that's a bug. It's, that's what I'm saying. I think that is a bug. But we've been everywhere, haven't we? We've been in here as well, haven't we? I mean, yeah, yeah. Okay, see you guys later. There's two exits here, but I only need one. Also, I probably should sleep because Dalen is not feeling... The uh, the love there, he needs to feel a little bit of love, so let's just rest, and uh, what else do I need? Hi! Speaking of love, how about a critical hit from Adapa? Yeah, you guys are very good. You guys are very good. Okay, so it's daytime, which is awesome because now we can see things a little bit better, which is also awesome. So we have been here before, yeah, and then we looped around because... This house, is this the house that I went into? And did I open, I think it is, yeah. So, that's a weird house. It, I don't understand. <laughs> How is that? Uh, though, I mean, I guess it's the wall bigger on the inside than it is on the outside. So, let's go into this little lovely patio over here. Oh, it's a pretty awesome house. Look at that. Uh, and uh, let's see what we have inside. Slum building. Another one of these. Okay, it's all fine. And uh, I'm, I imagine there's going to be people that are locked in here, waiting for me to rescue them. Indeed. Oh, no, no, not indeed. See, it's important. It's important that we break down every door. Hello, sir. Uh, Peronia. Per per Peronia? And Terror. Sure. Peronia, sorry. <laughs> Peronia. <laughs> Peronia and Terror seem to dominate the features of this older man. I greet you. Uh, get out of my home, thief looter! What do you want from me? Uh, calm down, I didn't mean any harm, it's all fine. Hmm, I suppose I am not just accustomed to vi visitors in these times. Either way, you were not invited. So, what is it you want, you would like from me, exactly? Uh, I want to speak to you about Yvette's baby. Oh, this is the guy. Yeah. Uh, paranoia. Okay, that probably says something. Can I rest well in here? Apparently not. Did I just screw up things? I greet you. Yeah, I want to... Well, it's good. Let me save the game. I want to speak to you about Yvette's baby. This is the the uh, courtesan in the... What's the name of that brothel? In the brothel, anyway, that has a baby. And this guy took the baby from her, as far as I can tell, anyway. I see. Her baby, is it? Oh. It's... Sure. Well. I couldn't very well say your baby, because you could say, Which one? This or this? I don't know. Anyway, the child happens to be my blood as well, as much as I am loath to admit fathering the girl upon that whore. I'll, do you, are you loath? Are you, seriously? Are you really, you, you're very, you're endearing yourself to me, mister there. Yeah, definitely. Sure. I'll, I'll tell you the same thing I told her. Oh, the, another, another thing that, that you're endearing yourself to me, for sure. I'm not going to give the child up. Oh, period. Okay. I will not have that woman returning later with this child and laying claim to anything of mine. And besides, that brothel is no place for any blood of mine. Oh, so it's an inheritance thing. So are you gonna kill the child? Because that's what you're saying right there, isn't it? Hmm. Uh, let's see. Uh, be reasonable. Mm hmm. Uh, let's see. She didn't say anything about raising the child in the brothel, or not raising the child in the brothel, to be honest. And from what I can tell, the brothel is actually a very s s s savory place. Uh, there's definitely no brotheling going on in there, so um, let's go with this, because, with this, yeah, I don't really care for this guy at all. Um, 
Be reasonable. Maybe you could work out some kind of deal. A deal, is it? Very well. Let's see how badly she wants her bastard back. And, uh, whether... Well, it's actually... Your bastard? If we're following medieval laws, it's not her bastard. That doesn't apply. Because inheritance doesn't apply f to the... Well, it depends on the... I say medieval laws. It really does depend on the country and the area and all that sort of stuff. But it's not her bastard. It's yours. Uh... Yeah. No, well, I guess you could say that, but yeah, anyway. Historically speaking, this wouldn't be even a question. They, they, they wouldn't say that. It would be my bastard, I guess. Especially because, you know, he... Especially because he complained about me saying her baby. So, yeah, he didn't say her baby, is it? No, he said her baby. Anyway. Uh, and whether she can afford it. I've lost... Oh, you're definitely endearing yourself to me, sir. I've lost m most of my wealth since this war began. Yeah, that's probably because of all the whores you've been paying. Uh, and you give me a thousand gold pieces and you can have the child. Everyone wins. Well, uh, my persuasion check will allow me to bring that down to 250. But this is effectively child trafficking. It's not really, though. It's n Well, it's not. I mean, you guess I guess you could make a point that it would be child trafficking. But... Um, it could be just, you know, rec recompense. There are settlements that happen, you know, when the custody is at, at, in, in question that uh, that people just say, you know, okay, you, I, you get a little bit of money and uh, and I get the child or something like that. That does happen every once in a while, which is really weird to me, but, hmm. Um, I'm not going to buy the child from you. Let's go with that. Let's just let's give, him the, give him the chance. I have business to rebuild after the war. Oh, Oh, no, you don't, sir. <laughs> no, you don't. If I'm going to risk the wench raising a child of my blood, I want something out of it. 1,000 gold pieces is the price she must pay. Um, yeah, that's it. Hand over the child. Now. And bear in mind, I'm not attacking you. I should actually be able to add that to my line right there. So I have no say in this, do I? No, you had plenty of say. You've been saying a lot of stuff since I arrived. Give up my blood to some base-born wench for nothing? Hmm... 200, actually, it's not baseborn. Is it baseborn or is it natural born? Or is it the synonyms? Because I think, I know there's, I think natural born means uh, bastard. Baseborn might be a synonym as well. Um, okay, so he lowers the price. Are you kidding me? <laughs> uh, apparently, I can actually say that I will kill him. Um, let's just, uh, he's lowering to 250. I, I can't afford it. Uh, if the wench cannot even afford that, then we are done. 250 gold pieces <clears throat> is as low as I will go. No lower. Yeah, I'm done haggling. Time to kill you. <gasps> he said something. What? He expressed surprise? You wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't. <laughs> the idiot. Oh, well. You know. You know it is. Oh, the child and all that. Yeah. There it is. There it is. Sure. I will remind you of his argument. I don't want her raising a child that would later come and claim my inheritance. So what's his solution to that? Oh, well, also, by the way, I got the baby. Um, what's his solution to that? To raise the child himself. So instead of, you know, there's a reasonable doubt that, uh, well, I'll say reasonable is, Does that stack? What is a, oh, okay. Uh, there's a reasonable doubt, I guess, uh, that you could make for... Maybe she wouldn't bring, especially because that was this is a bastard, but maybe she wouldn't bring the child back and just say, Hey, so I want your inheritance. Maybe. So there's reasonable doubt there. Ooh, got a container over here. Lovely, I like that. Um, okay, I got the, did I get the arrows? Yeah, okay, good stuff. Where's the, where's the container that I got over here? Okay. So, containers are essential to inventory management and can hold any items, both large and small. The weight of the items within... Okay, so it's just... It's a normal container. Why is it special, though? Hmm. I'm curious about this. Let me, let me see what I can do here. I got plenty of portions of lore, so I can just use it. Especially because I have a few things that... Um, that I... Uh, can identify. Was it just me, or did he drink the potion kind of the upside down? Did you notice that? <laughs> it's a little bit crazy. Uh, got a strong spike. Okay. So this thing is a black kumade, which does... Uh, an it's a plus two weapon. Okay. Uh, and over here, I had another thing. I'm pretty sure I had another thing. Oh, yeah. This, of course. Uh, let's see. Magic bag. <gasps> oh. 
just minus 60. It's not that bad. I like it. Minus 60 is good. Uh, but unfortunately, it doesn't look like a bag or like it's magic. Uh, but still, whatever. Uh, so we have actual magic bags up here. I don't think I need to identify anything that is up there. And I don't think I need to identify anything that is anywhere else. So we're good there. Let's also get that out of this. And let's see what is inside. Oh, there was nothing inside. Lever of stone. Why? Hmm. And I still have these things. That, that's it's gone. It's gone. I don't need that. Uh, ring of invisibility. I didn't. Why didn't I see? That? Oh, I did see that. Uh, that's been there for a little while. Uh, the dagger I can sell later, I think. Uh, the signet ring. And put the baby inside of the box. Yeah, sure. I was concerning. Uh, I was concerned about the baby baby's well-being and all that, especially with my rhetorics regarding regarding the arguments of his father or her father. I don't remember if it's a boy or a girl. Uh, either way. Um, yeah, but so allegations are going to be made by my party, and uh, I think it's going to be all fine. We have a longbow plus three. That's enticing. Let me see how enticing it is. So I currently have a uh, plus three bow. Is it a plus three? I guess it would be on a plus three attack and plus three might, which I, which I assume knocks creatures down a little bit more or something. Uh, it does basic, basic cri uh, critical threat of times three, piercing 1d8. Okay, that is fair. Over here we have attack bonus of that. It's basically a crappy bow. I guess the... Yeah, there's the, it's definitely a bug. Did you see what was happening there? Uh, basically, I was... Uh, uh, I probably shouldn't carry the baby over here because it's stuff to be sold. Um, and I was just talking about that as well. Uh, so, did you see Did you see what happened? I was dragging and dropping and it unselected. It's... Yeah. It's really weird. Not really sure what to say about that. Anyway, moving on. We have uh, probably no more enemies in here. Then again, I wouldn't know. And we can make our way straight back to the brothel. Also, I'm thinking. Please, I have always been loyal to High Captain Kurth. Oh. Your business to you. What, what do you want? She asks. Could I ask some questions? Okay, apparently I can. Why are you so frightened? I said I wouldn't hurt you. No, I didn't. Uh, yeah, they, she goes back to that. It's like the every other one. It's okay. I'm, I'm now thinking of something. Let me try this. What are this? Temple of Tear. So can I leave... Uh, no. I can't leave the Temple of Tear. Oh! Oh, no, 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 no. I thought... I... Oh. I thought we were back in, in Port Last, but... Because wasn't that... Wasn't that also a Temple of Tear? Yeah, that's that's what was confusing me. Because I was thinking of... I mean, while I was going through the inventory, I was thinking of a few things, and I, I rem reminded myself of that. Hey, guys! How's it going? Oh, hi, guys. <laughs> Uh, it's good. And we have, uh, the oath this is definitely going well. Enough of them, mind you. A little bit of treasure. That doesn't have... Oh, they've turned into whatever those are. Hmm. Bullets of smiting. I'll take that. Thank you very much. Did they leave anything, guys? Yeah, they did. Let me see. Money. Okay, let's get out of here. And let's go back to the brothel, because we're going to tell Yvette... Well, actually, we're not going to tell you about the good news. We're going to give her the good news. And I wonder if she has named the kid already. Oh, also, I didn't check this alleyway. Very interesting looking alleyways, I should say. Look at this. I like this. I like this a lot. It's it's a shame that when you rotate the camera, just they kind of disappear. But So this is the brothel, right? Yeah. The Wink and Tickle. That's the name of the brothel. That's why I would never remember it. Hi. What? what? What's going on? Oh, Adapa. Oh, why yeah. the Well. Come on. Dunk. Yeah. No criticals even. I can't do sneak attacks if I'm this far away. Arapa, if you go and hurt somebody else, I'm gonna unsummon you. <laughs> That's quite some punishment right there. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, I amuse myself. Can I open? I wonder if I can open this. I probably can't. <clears throat> I don't really understand what, what the purpose of these doors uh, are. I assume they're just a way to cut costs. To uh, to have to uh, to redesign everything and all that sort of stuff. And have multiple, uh, sort of multiple uh, building models in the game. To allow for, for a building without that door. Because there's no other entrance in here. Okay, so what do I have over here? Where is a vet? Yvette, honey, 
No, it's not over here. It's over there. I was kind of turned around. Can I get past you guys? Thank you. <clears throat> Apparently, if I just click, it's better than to uh, than to hold W, which is what I'm doing right now. Well, hello to you. Have you found my baby? Have you any news? Uh, yeah, I have your baby with me. You found her! Oh, it's a girl. Okay, oh, thank you, thank you! How did you even manage to convince Galoron to give her up? Oh, I don't care. All that matters is I have her back once more. My gold doesn't seem enough for a reward, but it's all I have to give you. I can spare 500 gold pieces. I hope that is enough. Uh... Can I... Then I keep your gold for the baby. It was my pleasure. Are, are you are you sure, sir? You earned the gold after all. The baby and I, and I can make do. Nope. Nope. Keep the gold. Oh, you have done far more than I could ever have hoped. Thank you. Thank you, my lord. I shall remember your kindness always. I have to go now. Miss Bella arranged for someone to take us out of the city to start our lives anew. Thank you again. Yeah, I think I did the right thing there. I mean, apart from the fact that I said, time to kill you. And uh, that is very much an attack. That I think there, I really did murder that guy. Uh, but, uh, ah well, nobody will ever know. So, who cares? Well, the gods will. They will, but who cares? My, my, uh... My actions have shifted my alignment towards good. So, the gods of Dungeons and Dragons, guys. The gods of Dungeons and Dragons. Can I just, just leave? Oh, it's night time again? No, it's not. Well, it doesn't look like it. Good. Okay, can I can I rest as well? Because you guys are feeling a little bit injured and barely injured and all that sort of stuff. Let's keep going and let's continue. This is just the residential area, isn't it? The slums. Okay, well, you know, tomato, tomato. Okay, save the game there and take care of that guy. Hi, how's it going? Oh, I would rather you didn't pursue me. Thank you. Thank you. No? That was a little bit of a hit. That was a little bit of an attack of opportunity. Let me toggle the fast mode. Can you do your job? There we go. Rapid shot mode deactivated. That's I really wish the the UI was a little bit more clear whether or not I have the that modal thing activated or not. I'm pretty sure it's modal. Actually, ooh, look at that. Uh, specific. It's a general. It's, I don't know if it is modal or not. It's a little bit weird to to use. That's the reason why I mostly forget about it. Uh, put that over there, and let's see what we have in this house, because I don't think I've gone in there. Probably another quest or something. I still need to go and complete that other one, by the way. Didn't, uh, didn't do, uh, do my research off-camera regarding finding that other guy that has the, that wants the yeah. ring or something. Oh, for the high captain, he says. <laughs> Can you please do your... Ah! Well, that's good. Get out of there. Like... Yeah. Oh. Can I get out of here? It would be fantastic if I could. Lovely. Okay. This is not locked, so let's see what we have. 25 gold. Definitely going up in the in the in the world. Yeah. This looks like that Bioware book is in every one of these particular uh No, it's not. This one is the same. So did I miss them before? Or are they now more common than they used to be? Because that looks interesting. Hmm. Anyway, moving on. And killing bandits and uh, whatever these guys are. Actually, I, I'm not paying attention. They're like black hands or something generic like that. Uh, although, if, mm, it, they might, it just the name might actually represent who they serve. So it might not be as generic as I'm making it out to be. Hello, Mr. Father. Greetings. Oh, don't kill me. Okay. Oh, he doesn't believe me. Sir, I... Greetings. There it is. Okay. So now he's not as scared. It doesn't really matter. I don't get any experience. Hey, Mr. Mother. Hey, Mr. Girl. It's not Mr., but sure. Uh, 32 gold over here. Definitely wasn't yours, was it? Hello. Hi. Oh, where's my mummy? I suppose over there? Are you guys... Did you guys kidnap that girl? What's going on in here? I don't understand. Well, they have nice fl nice flowers in, the, in that vase, so I'll, I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. Shall we? Okay, get out of here. Apparently, that was a very, very small house. And it's fine by me. And it does connect back to this lovely little sort of back alley. And uh, we don't need to explore anything over there. We do have this huge house. And we have gargoyles over here that look a little bit menacing. That probably means things, but I don't think I need to bless. What? 
Oh. Oh, this is the... Okay. Host Tower Bridge Guard. I greet you. You won't be allowed across the bridge without authorization, citizen. Please step away. Uh, what kind of authorization do you need? You need a written permission by the Arcane Brotherhood themselves, affixed with their seal. Tell me about them. Ah, an organization of wizards. Some say they rule Luskan, but if they do, they do so secretly. We rarely see or hear of them. Uh, surely there must be some other way across the... Across? Not hardly. The wizards protect their privacy with magic. You can't sail a boat to the island or tunnel there or even cast a spell to take you there. No passing. Period. Not without their say-so. That, at least, is what I'm told. Okay. Uh, I'll... Fine. I'll go. Don't return, if you know what's good for you. Oh, really? I greet you. Oh, apparently I don't know what's good for me. Yeah, sure. It doesn't attack me. I, I, that would, that would be a very easy situation. <laughs> oh, you want to attack me? Sure, go ahead. So just for standing here. Sure. Do your thing, and I'll do mine, and we'll see who comes up, comes out on top, and more specifically, alive. And we have a shady character over there. I think I know who that is, and I think I know what his for. But I guess we'll have to find out for sure next episode. For now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been, well, you know it, Never Enter Nights. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later, but above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.